Assalamu alaikum guys. Hope everybody will be fine. Guys, do you want to know what is the best footing for two-story domestic building, not for commercial building? As well as, what should be the size of footing, depth of footing, its steel reinforcement details, and grade of concrete in the construction of footing? So if yes, so watch this video till the end to know about RCC footing design for two-story domestic building. So let's get started guys. Before starting the video guys, I will tell you these tips which I am telling you for design of footing for two-story domestic building. This is for normal bearing capacity of soil, not for black cotton soil because black cotton soil bearing capacity is very low. So in that case, you can hire the structural engineer to give you the structural design for two-story, three-story, four-story, anything. So in that case, uh, uh, if you have black cotton soil, mean uh, if there is uh, very very low bearing capacity of soil so you can't use this method or these tips which i'm telling you so if normal soil which bearing capacity is normal so you can use okay so let's get start guys as you can see guys this is footing and this is its section so first of all for normal residential building for two story so what should be the best footing design or footing so guys remember for normal residential building isolated footing is best isolated footing or you can say individual footing as well as individual footing okay the second one is what should be the size of footing so guys you can see this is footing so inside this footing we have a column so what should be the size of footing? So minimum you can use the footing size for normal soil, which should be four by four feet. Okay, so four to four by four feet is okay. Okay, so this is size of footing. In the case of normal soil, not black cotton. Again, I'm telling you guys. Okay, so this is the size of footing. Next guys, depth of footing. So what should be the depth of footing? So in this case, the depth of the footing should not be less than five, four to five feet. Okay. So to the NSL, NSL natural surface level or uh, ground level, GL. Right. Now guys, remember the depth of the mesh with concrete should not be less than nine inches. But I recommend you guys use here. So 9 to 12 inches is okay. Right. So this is the uh, depth, uh, especially for the bed. Okay. Where we are using like this steel reinforcement for this. Like you can see guys, these are steel reinforcement. Okay. So this is size. Next guys, uh, the slope, this slope should not be less than 12 inches, but you can increase uh, from uh, from 12 to 18 inches is normal but not be less than 12 inches this slope in the case of uh, isolated footing you can use it okay but you guys we have a question which i am telling you in this video okay so the span the span of two footing uh, the span of two footing or two columns should not be less than as you can see guys this is one column and this is the other column okay so guys this space should be up to 15 to 16 feet not more than this otherwise we will change the size of footing as well as depth of footing at steel reinforcement this is from 15 to 16 feet length okay these require uh, these details which i'm telling you so the size of the footing should be guys four by four feet okay minimum it should not be less than this and the depth of footing should be from four to five feet Got it? Next, come to add steel reinforcement details. Guys, we have uh, steel reinforcement on both way like this. Okay. So main bars and distribution bars dia should be same, which should be 12 mm. Okay. Dia is 12 mm with the spacing of 150 mm center to center distance between two steel rods as well as guys for distribution bars okay which should be also 12 mm 
dia with the spacing of 150 mm center to center okay so these are steel reinforcement got it next guys remember so let me write here 12 mm dia with the spacing of 150 mm center to center same for other way got it now guys grade of concrete so what should be the grade of concrete so use here m20 grade m20 grade ratio is 1 ratio 1.5 ratio 3 okay where one is cement 1.5 is sand and 3 is aggregate or crush you can say so this should be the grade of concrete and the construction of footing for two story domestic building now guys if you see it's concrete cover on each side on the top bottom the concrete cover should be the concrete cover should be 50 mm okay concrete cover 50 mm or you can say 2 inches okay so guys these are uh, the best footing size uh, the best footing what is the best footing size of footing depth of footing steel reinforcement and grade of concrete this video is also specially for uh, non-technical people which are not related in civil engineering and uh, uh, they want to construct their house so in the case of uh, space or length between two rcc columns should not be more than 15 to 16 feet as well as guys uh, uh, here this is for normal residential building not for the commercial building as well as if you uh, if you have uh, or if you want to construct uh, your house and the bearing capacity of soil is very low so in that case you can't use these steps which i have discussed the front of you as well as so if this is normal uh, if the soil condition is normal and bear, uh, with bearing capacity so in that case you can use these things which i have discussed hope this video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye